What's going on, YouTube? <clears throat> man, man, man. After three years, we back on this Regal. So, <clears throat> let me kind of bring you guys up to three years up to now. I'm going to walk and talk. So, if you guys have been a long time subscriber to me, then you guys probably seen um, my body guy who started on this car. First off, let's just go back. I don't have any video footage, so um, we're gonna stop it right here and I'm gonna show you guys some pictures up into this point. So let's get to it. All right, so now you see those pictures where the car was sanded down to the metal. Every part of this car was um, swiped with mud. Okay. Now what ended up happening was me and my body guy fell out. Now, <laughs> please excuse the roughness, man. I've been grinding, trying to get these cars done, so I haven't really had time to, uh, you know, make this look a little bit decent but anyway who cares man y'all not here to see how i look anyway you guys are here for these cars so anyway me and this employee fell out because he said i wasn't in the shop as much as he wanted me to be that shit didn't make sense whatsoever he was, his exact words was, it's no motivation in the shop. <clears throat> motivation? How is it not motivation in the shop when I didn't paid you for four cars, including this one? This is a buddy of mine car. We paid this guy $1,500, and it's not a lot of money, not, not for what he did. It was actually pretty damn good because he stripped it to the metal and got it to this point but the thing is this is what people don't realize if you make the price you can't downsize or not do quality work because you made the price 
it'd be different if the customer came to you and be like, hey, um, I only got 1500 to spend, and you tell that person what he is and isn't getting for that 1500 But if you tell him, like, hey, man, I'm looking for my car to be stripped to the metal, blah, 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 and he makes the price, then he has to honor that, no matter what, because he made the price. So we came to him and said, hey, man, how much are you going to charge, you know, to do the body work? He suggested that the car be stripped to the metal and he work it up that way. And when he got through with it, it's going to be paint ready. This was three years ago. Okay. Gave him the whole 1500 up front. He did the work. Did majority of the work. He fell out with me because there was mo no motivation in the shop. Man, how I look at it is, man. If you done been paid on four or five cars in the shop, you my body guy, if you done been paid for three to four cars in this shop, not one of these cars is ready for paint. So what's the point of me getting to my own shop early in the morning when you don't even have nothing ready for me to paint? So you're trying to say the reason why nothing is done is because I'm not there to motivate you excuse my language but bitch that's what's getting paid for that's what you getting paid for so you want me to pay you and come in and cheerlead his name was jose go jose go jose block that car block that car you can do it is that what the fuck you want so anyway what ended up happening was since i wasn't motivating him which i felt like i was doing by paying you what you asked for he decides to go open up his own shop. So he opens up his own shop. We ended up taking the car. He talks my buddy into, um, I want to do it at my own shop. So we pack the car up, take it to his shop across town. And that's where he puts it in Primer, where the car is now. The car is in Primer. He put it in Primer. Okay. He had the car so long there that... He ended up losing the shop. Don't know what happened. But he ended up losing the shop. So then my partner had to go get the car and bring it back to his garage. Now, what's crazy is the man didn't even have the balls to be there when we picked up the car. He pushed the car outside. We pulled up, loaded the car on the trailer, and went back home. Took it back to my partner's house. Now... Two, and, two years later, I, I, I say he had it for about six months. So I say, because it's been three years. So two and a half years later, we spent the last two and a half years chasing him down, trying to find him, trying to fall, trying to get him to finish what we didn't already been paid in full on. So he ended up getting into it with my, with my partner, getting into an argument with my partner. And it got to the point to where my partner was like, you know what, to hell would it be, man, Get your new guy to finish it up, and that's what we're going to do. So, now you guys are brought up to where we at with this regal. It's been three years in the making, three years of trying to chase. Um, I don't even want to go back down that road, but anyway. So now, I'm going to give you guys, I'm going to turn the camera around. I'm going to give you guys a walk around of where we are now. And um, we should be through with it in a couple of days. And we're just going to go from there. Alright, so that's where we at. Body guy got it straight. We got to fuck with this damn hood. But hey, we're going to get it there. Hello? Hello? Yeah, I'm here. All right. What's up, YouTube? All right, man, we back on the Regal, and uh, we are officially done with all the body work. Um, got the hood there. We tried to find a new hood, but my body guy ended up fixing the hood. Uh, we got it guy-coded. 
and blocked all the way down we even got it wet sanded as you can see that's where you see all this little right here like a little smudge like up in here it's been wiped so what we did was we guide coated blocked it with 180 turned back around guide coated again blocked it with 220 and then uh, wet sanded with 320 so now what we're going to do is we're going to throw some light primer because we got a lot of metal showing right up in here so we're going to throw some light primer we're not going to 2k primer probably throw like some lacquer primer uh some 1k primer on it and then once again wet sand it lightly wet sand it with a block in 320 but the hood we're going to take off and we are going to 2k it because as i mentioned in a, in a previous clip uh my body guy um he never did the hood he did everything else but he never touched the hood so uh we had to strip it and we work it from scratch and uh now we're going to 2k is 2k this guide coat it block it guide coat it block it prime it again and then it should be ready for paint so all right youtube now i don't have a name for this build you guys help me name it it's going candy purple um my partner really wanted a purple without the magenta in it and nobody makes a purple but um if you guys are familiar with tamco I've been texting Tammy, the owner of Tamco, for the past few days, and she sent me this new color that they came out with, Grapeness, but it's got magenta in it. So then she sent me this color, which is exactly what we're looking for. We're looking more of an actual purple grape look because his interior is purple and silver, and that's more so what we're looking for. So uh we made the deal happen she said it's a ship out monday which it did so um let me go to let me go to my messages blah 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 yeah there you go your order from tamco paint has been shipped and we should get it there we go this wednesday so that's the game plan now youtube so what we're gonna do is um once we get the hood and 2k prime and we get the rest of the car in prime we'll end this um episode one and then we'll pick back up on two with the blocking of the hood and the west sanding the guy coating the west sanding of the outside and uh then we'll be getting ready for paint so all right see you guys in the next clip let me walk on this side i don't even think i showed you guys this side oh yeah she about ready she's about ready all right you two see y'all in the next clip What's up, YouTube? We back on my partner, Regal, and we got all the paint in. Now, before I show you guys this paint, man, before you guys jump in the comments and be like, uh, man, why'd you do that? You should have just went with this and this and this and this and this and this and this. So, we couldn't find a good solid purple. You know, you guys, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I mess with House of Color. I love the quality. I love the I love anything dealing with House of Color all the way up until they clear, they paint, they KBC set up. I mean, their whole line, I love it. But they don't have um grape looking purple, an actual purple purple. I guess you could say violet. They don't have a violet purple. And their voodoo violet has a little bit of pinkish magenta in it. And everybody that I went to to try to find an actual violet purple candy has a little magenta in it. Um, even Tamco. 
Tam Coden came out with a new color called the Greatness. And once again, it's got that little magenta in it, that little pinkish magenta color in it. So, I actually saw a violet candy purple on their website. And I do have the owner's number directly, Miss Tammy. And I text her and asked her if she can make me that color because they switched their violet color over to the greatness. But I didn't want the greatness. I need straight, solid purple. So um, she took a couple of days. She mixed it up for me and she actually made me um, a violet purple. So I'm going to show you guys that. Now, the thing that I was saying about House of Color is she was telling me that they make a silver that covers in two coats, but honestly, I I didn't want to give it a try, so I ended up ordering the House of Color Ryan Silver. So we're going to be putting Tamco candy over the Ryan Silver. Now, I've read where other people didn't use Tamco, and they said it's true. It covers in two coats. I should have bought it. Should have took a chance with it, but... um. You know, it's still not too late. I can put the Orion Silver that I bought to the side, probably put it on one of my personal projects and go ahead and order it. So I might do that. Now that I'm talking to you guys, I might do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera around, show you guys the color that we're going to go with, and you will see the Orion Silver. But I might put it to the side and go ahead and order the Tamco Silver. It's not too late. So I might just give it all a try. So all right, let me show you guys the color. So, all right, YouTube, there we go. We got, um, actually got more silver. I got two quarts of House of Color Ryan Silver, but I actually got like two or three in the back. Hell, I think I got two cans sitting over there, I believe, two or three cans over there. So, I always keep House of Color stuff in stock. And I got five quarts of the violet, purple, candy from tamco candies so it's gonna be my first time shooting tamco candies period and um reading what other people have said and other people use it i think i might have ordered too much but hey it's better, it's better to have more than better than have a lot and not have enough so all right youtube i'm gonna open up this thing i thought i can do it while i record but it looks like i'm a Hold on. Yeah. I'm going to cut this camera off before I be down to four quarts instead of five. And then we'll come back. All right. Let's get it. The camera is making it look blue. But it's actually violet. It's a real deep, deep purple. Because I'm looking at it through the camera and it looks blue and I'm looking outside the camera and it's purple. But it's a real deep, deep violet, which is what we wanted. So that's what we're going with. And like I said, um, more than likely, more than likely that's what I'm going to do, YouTube. I'm going to go ahead and order. I'm going to go ahead and give it a try, man. I'm not even finna... I got, I got another project that I actually just bought today. Um, so I'm thinking about going candy on it. So I might just push this to the side for my personal car and just go ahead and order. Um, I forgot what they call it. Uh, slick silver or six silver, something like that. Coarse metallic, something like that. I'm going to go ahead and order that. I think a gallon of it is like 300 something dollars. But if it covers in two coats, then you don't need a whole gallon. So I'm going to get on the internet, get back with to well, get back with Tammy next week and get that ordered. And uh, that's probably what I'm going to do. So, all right, YouTube, uh, we still got to prime the car, then wet sand the car with 320. Then we're going to do the door jams under the trunk and under the hood. And then we're going to move to the outside. So, all right, the next clip, you're going to see us priming it. Then we're going to be wet sanding it. And then hopefully by then we should have the Tamco Silver here. And then we can start shooting it. So, all right, see y'all in the next clip. All right, y'all, we're back on the Regal. We fitting the 1K prime the sides. The trunk good. 
it blocked out fine, so we ain't gotta put no problem on the trunk. Just in front of the trunk. So we just gonna 1K the sides, put a good two coats on the sides, and uh, we're gonna 2K the hood. So we're gonna put about three coats of 2K Prime on the hood, two coats of 1K on the sides, and then we be ready to uh, block it one last time and shoot it. So, all right, see y'all in a minute. All right, you two. We got 2K, we got two coats of 1K primer on the sides. Got two coats of 1K primer on the sides. And about the 2K prime the hood. You guys are wondering why we're doing it like this. If you guys remember in the previous clip, I told you guys my previous body guy originally started on this car. So it's already been stripped to the metal. It's already been body work. It's already been 2K Prime. We took it from 2K Prime, blocked it, and now we're doing the second final Prime. The hood was never touched. So we stripped it to the metal, we body work it. Now we got a 2K Prime it, guy coated. it. Then we're gonna do the final Prime with the 1K. Then it'll be finally blocked, do the final block. So we had the 1K step with the car. We had the 2K step with the hood, so that's where we at. All right, let's mix up some 2K and get this hood shot. All right, you two. <clears throat> we got two coats of 2K primer on the hood. Two coats of 1K primer on the sides. And uh, gonna pull this thing outside. We're gonna wait about 10, 15 minutes. And then uh, we'll be pulling this thing outside. Guy coated it and uh, start back blocking it again tomorrow. So, all right, see y'all when we get it outside. All right, you two, this is the Regal outside the booth. Give you guys one final walk around and we'll end this episode one. Um, we're just gonna skip the block blocking process. Uh, it's the same thing as you guys saw in this video, it's the same process. He gonna guide coat it. He gonna block it with uh, 220. And then go over it, buzz over it with 320. Or the DA and the interface pad. Then he can go in the booth and get shot. So everything you just saw before this video is what's about to happen again. So no point into adding the same stuff over and over again. So we gonna guide coat it block it with 220, buzz over with 320. Then we're gonna tape it up, get it in the booth, seal it, shoot it. But we're gonna do the trunk, we're gonna take the trunk off and we're gonna take the hood off and we're gonna paint the door jams, the hood and the trunk and inside the trunk first. Then we're gonna put it back together. Then we're gonna paint the outside. So in episode two, we're gonna start the painting. You're gonna see us tearing this apart, painting the doors, painting under the hood, Painting the trunk, putting it back together and painting the, the outside. Then we're going to flow coat it. Then we're going to end episode two. So that's how that's what's coming up. So all right, you two. We got the Regal. Straight as an arrow. Y'all see that body line? See that body line? That's that block. That's that block work. So all right. That's it for now, you two. Let me see if I can go on this other side. This is the next day. I actually primed it yesterday. The video y'all saw was yesterday. I said I was gonna get some footage of it outside, but I ended up starting spraying the Blue Devil, which y'all will see that video real soon. So I forgot to get footage of it outside, and right now it's raining outside. So, man, this inside footage is gonna have to do, you two. So, all right. That's it. Subscribe and uh, see y'all in episode two. What's going on YouTube? All right, so we threw filming for the next video, which is my cousin's T-Top Regal, which you guys already done seen. So now it's time to pick a winner for the T-shirt. Um, what I found was this website called YouTube Random Comment Picker. So what you do is 
you copy and paste the link here you get the YouTube comments is that the link no 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 let me let me delete that that might not be the right link let's see uh, hold on we can click on the video all right so then click on the video copy the link paste it here get the YouTube comments it's eight comments so if we was going off the Caprice video we push start and that's who would have won Jay going shine NC rider now this is just an example this is just an example y'all so that's how it works now let's go to the correct video which is the vert now I do know Everybody didn't come in 4215. You got this guy right here who didn't. You got this guy right here who didn't. Uh, my guy Damien at DWT, he didn't. So they don't qualify. And if this random picker happens to pick a comment that the person didn't comment 4215, then we're going to run it again until it picks someone that put down 4215. You guys remember, that's what you had to type in the comments in order to be entered to win the t-shirt. So once again, if it picks a comment that didn't put 4215, we're gonna run it again and pick another person. So all right, YouTube, let's get to it. I'm gonna copy this link, put it over here. Gonna get the comments. We got 52 comments. Um, I didn't put include replies because most of the replies are from me. So I just want only the comments. So if you guys see it says 52 here and 57 here, that's including my response on the video. So we got 52 comments and we finna start the raffle. So whoever it picks, that's the winner. Let's get it. All right, that's the winner. Three RE Coach Customs, 4215. All right, homie, what I need you to do is text me. My phone number is right here, 901-270-6502. Text me your name, uh, address, and what size shirt you wear. All right, YouTube, uh, stay lookout for the next giveaway. You got to watch the videos to see what the next thing I give away. All right, y'all take it easy.